here actually. Got the little kids staring. In this video, we're gonna be doing a full mod list. I'm gonna pull over in a second, show you guys the full breakdown on the car, everything that I have done to the car and things that I plan to do in the future. So that's today's video. Giving you guys a full breakdown on the car right now. I got the AC running, probably shouldn't be doing that while doing pulls, but hey, it is hot today. 86 right now, if y'all can see that. Check engine light is on for O2 sensors in case y'all wondering. No biggie. Oh, what? Something dead in the street. Oh, that's a dead bird. Oh, that was a dead bird. That was a dead bird for Sholey. But hey, car's running great. Got some E85 in the tank, so hey, can't complain. Summertime is right here, so you're gonna have a lot more videos rolling out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You already know, content's rolling. Summertime's here. If you guys haven't joined the fam, go ahead and do that already. That turbo flutter is really crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. We need to get past all this traffic, that's for surely, though. shifting on that one two man come on well I'm going straight I can see there's less traffic if I go straight oh yeah oh yeah 50 mile miles an hour don't mind if I do don't mind if I do I take it Again. I'm gonna try that again. I didn't like that one. I did not like that one. Let's get that one again. Rolling at that leg. First off, well, I'm gonna start with the wheels. So I got the welds in the back, 17 by 10s in the rear. I definitely need some tires. We are on some bald needles right now. Right now, so it is an IS. Trunk is locked, I don't know why. So we're on the needles right now, 3D5 IS on the flex fuel. We are running a little bit of uh, meth that goes straight into the intake. So that kind of cools the intake temps down. You can see my, the pump right there. So wiring is not all pretty, but I don't care about that. It, it, hide un it hides under the, the panel, so not worried about that. So if you guys are wondering what I use for meth, it's, I use Snow perf Performance. That's what I use as far as uh, my meth system. It's a uh, half and half, half uh, water and half uh, meth. And here's under the hood. Under the here, under the hood is not the prettiest, but it gets the job done. So I am running the bottom mount kit by Doc DR700. Um, I did have an early kit, and then I ended up getting a new manifold. So I have their second or their their updated manifold, which obviously the first one was prone to cracking. Now I have their updated manifold. So bottom mount kit. I'm not running any blow-off valve. You can see the snow performance 
uh, mess system that goes straight into the intake. Uh, besides that, pretty simple under here. The next thing obviously is port injection. That is very important. That's something that I do need to kind of make some more power. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that open to kind of let the car cool off a little bit. I'm running the stock IS wheels. The car is filthy right now. I have been driving it. It, it just started um, getting a lot better as far as the weather. So the weather's getting a lot better. So you're going to be seeing me make a lot more videos. Uh, what else? As far as suspension wise, I know a couple of people in the last time I did an update, I didn't mention the suspension. So I'm running BC coilovers. Um, right now, these are not the, the ideal setup for the car. I should be running something like more of like a, like a KW setup. Uh, but as far as I know, I got these for a really good price. I'm running the extreme lows on as far as uh, as far as BCs. I definitely should have went with another option, but hey, I got these for a really good price. So that's what I'm currently running. I do have an upgraded uh, upgrade steering wheel. I have the G-Force boost controller. That controls my boost. I can do my scramble and all the other stuff right here. I can control everything. You can see, you go to settings, kind of go through the motions of it. Pretty much has everything there. You can change the color of everything. So, and then I have my uh, Snow Performance. That's also a boost controller as well too. You guys can see that. So that's also a boost controller, but that pretty much just regulates my, um, my meth. So that's what that's for. Besides that, that's pretty much all I've did. Uh, oh, I also have a full exhaust system. But I'm gonna be redoing the. I'm gonna be redoing the exhaust. So stay tuned on that. Um, this one's cool. I, I did this. I did it a, a single exit from the downpipe back. But I kind of want to go a different route with the exhaust setup. So stay tuned on that. I'm gonna be doing a little bit something different as far as exhaust setup. But and then I also got a different grill. Got the M4 style front grill. Besides that, I think we're, what else? Oh, I got a radar detector too. I got this radar detector Escort for a really good price. You guys can see that. So I got the Escort pa or that Passport Access 2 or something like that. I got it well, I got it quite a bit ago, but it still works. So that's why I still, still use it. But, you know, um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm, I might, I, I kind of want to wrap the car. So, but I kind of hesitant on doing that. But, oh, there's people. I gotta move. Look, I'm not the only one trying to do shit. Ugh. Ooh. She is blacked out window tint. Gotta have that. If you guys have any suggestions on future things I should do to the car, I got some. I got some ideas, but I want to hear you guys' suggestions. New wheels, and these are stock IS wheels. They're pretty cool. They get the job done. Wrap, maybe. What else? New exhaust. That's coming for surely. We got. We're gonna get port injection. That's coming. And then um, also another thing I want to talk to you guys about is I'm also looking to get another car pretty soon. Um, not right away, right away, but in the next, mm, this is say sometime this year, if not early next year. Um, a car that's in, what, you, what kind of car would you guys want to see for the channel coming up next? I'm going to keep this car, obviously. I'm not, this car is not going anywhere, but a second car for the channel. You guys thinking of another BMW or I don't know. What are you guys thinking? So definitely comment down below what kind of car you guys want to see coming to the channel next um, that we could do another build on. And this, the next car we bring to the channel, it'll be like a full build. So you guys will see from everything from start to finish. So another car, let me know what you guys think another car should be for the channel to pair with the IS. I have a couple ideas in my head, but I want to let you, I want to hear you guys' suggestions. But as far as I know, here, this is what she is. This is what it is right now. Uh, 245s up front, 30, 35, 19s, and 17 by 10s in the rear. Uh, I'm running a 275, 40, seven, uh, two, yeah, 275, 40, 17 in the rear tire setup. Right now, that's all she is. I do need to get a new hood. I I messed up pretty bad the, a while back. I ended up shutting the hood, and I had uh, my coolant tank was kind of propped up. I ended up cracking the hood. So uh, maybe carbon hood, maybe I don't know. The car is filthy right now, so excuse the 
excuse the dirt. She don't look the prettiest right now, but she still somewhat look presentable. But here she is. Quick update video for you guys. I know I haven't been super consistent with the content. I'm coming back for sure. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. And um, if you haven't already, hit that, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Hit a thumbs up on this video if you guys like this kind of content. Um, I'll be doing a lot more POVs. That's kind of what I've kind of based the channel around is more POV style stuff. But if you guys want to see some more stuff um, from the car, let me know. I'm curious to know what you guys want to see. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.